What's up, King fam? What's up, Blockheads? Hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome. My name is Dennis. It is a pleasure to have you. So, you read the title correctly. This is New Kids on the Block on the Kelly Clarkson Show. I think this is recorded back on Tuesday. Short-term memory is not good. I think it's recorded back on Tuesday, and today's Friday. So, it's coming out today. I'm excited about it. We're going to watch the whole thing. We may skip around. You may see some jump cuts and some edits in the video, but we're going to check out the interview and whatever songs they may sing. I think they're probably going to pull out the new one, Kids. We're just kids from the nobody town. We're just kids that are messing around. Yeah. Making the best of what we're making the most of what we found. Hey. Whoa, 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 come on, let's go. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, make sure notifications are turned on. You don't want to miss out on future reactions, and it helps the channel grow. Pushes us out into this great big world to meet more amazing people just like you. Please subscribe, hit that like button, let's grow. Check out the description box below. You'll see the links to all of our social media. Give us a follow and drop your comments, thoughts, feelings, and feedback about my reaction, uh, what the guy, you know, what they all interview about, uh, and whatever songs they sing. I'm guessing, I'm gonna guess that they're probably gonna perform kids and maybe a throwback from back in the day, or maybe a medley from back in the day. I don't know. I'm ready to check it out. This is probably gonna be a long video, and this is just a warning. This is a television show that we're about to watch. They're probably going to try to do a video block for this. Please stay around, but I may have to put my logo over the picture in picture of the show. Just stay around, have fun with me. You'll be able to see through it. It's just going to be annoying, but stay through it. Stay here. Hang out with me. We'll have fun. We'll get through it together. I promise. All right, let's go. Whoa, dropping the headphones. And I am not editing that out. You, this is raw and uncut, real as it can be. Let's go. That one dude looked like Kylo Ren. Did y'all see that? Cousin looked like. Cousin like Adam Driver. Oops, hold on. This is what she's saying. Uh, cousin right here looked like Adam Driver. He looked like Kylo Ren. <laughs> cousin looked like Kylo Ren. I might have said Springsteen, Springsteen. and I might have said sitcoms. <laughs> it's a very wordy song. Uh, that was Bowling for Soups 1985, which had a giant resurgence with the Take Me Back to TikTok trend this past summer. You may have seen Gen Zers were getting all nostalgic for the 2000s and tweaking uh, the lyrics to the song to celebrate decades gone by. Uh, that actually inspired us to create a throwback campaign here on the show, brought to you by yeah. 80s. Brought to you by the 80s. the 80s uh the greatest decade ever uh and today we are i agree greatest decade ever at least in my opinion i was born in 79 so i'm just outside of it but i grew up in the 80s so i'm definitely i'm an 80s baby celebrating the beginning of acid wash just jeans saying. video rental stores and boy bands <laughs> boy band wow that's cool And if you're watching us for the first time on an old, regular, you know, broadcast TV, old school, y'all, we are sending an extra shout out to you. Um, I promised you music, and there's no better way to celebrate than with one of the biggest boy bands of all time. Yes, absolutely. Block kids. You've lived and loved their chart-topping hits over the years. Their new single is called Kids, um, and their first out, the first new album actually in 10 years, over 10 yeah, years, is coming out album. May 17th. It's called Still Kids. You can pre-order the album as well as get your tickets. That's hilarious. Of course, Donnie's going to be the silly one who's blowing bubbles at Jordan. Gotta love it. Jonathan Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. 
those boys, the men. Hey, I see you, Dottie. Give it up for the new kids on the block. <laughs> So good to see everybody. Very cool. Very, very cool. People up on the porch, Blockhead Central. I guess that's where all the audience is. That's cool. It's totally amazing. Totally amazing. All these years, man. The best fans in history. Blockhead. My, my office is on a different floor, like where I get ready for the show and everything, and I, I you know, watch everything loading in. And this is the loudest. We could hear them all the way yeah. on that floor. Oh, oh. This That's is awesome. crazy cool fan And the reason why we have career. So it's a blessing to have people like that. It's the reason why we're here. So there were were there any other band names? Was it always New Kids on the Block or no? No, Nynook. <laughs> Nynook, N Y N U K. Don't know what it is. The only other time I've ever heard that being used is in the movie Lost Boys. Corey Haynes' character had a do had a dog, an Alaskan husky, Alaskan husky, and his name was Nanook, and he pronounced it Nanook, but it's N Y N U K. There's one more. Oh, there was another. Uh -huh. They have the shirt. They all know the story. The original name. Oh, what are you wearing? What does it say? <laughs> yeah. Nanook. Yeah. It's Nanook. Nanook. That's why we changed it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no one can say it. Exactly. Nanook. Nanook. Almost Nynook. 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 Nanook, but it's spelled Nanook. 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 And we, our, our producer made up like, a Like, this band is on Eurovision. <laughs> I don't know what Mari Starr was thinking with that. It was like, Nanook. I, I, I don't understand it. No clue at all. Look at, look at poor Joey. We, yeah, we couldn't, couldn't afford to get him letters. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, did it, when did you finally we, land on that? We, we had a song. It was a rap song called New Kids on the Block. Yeah. That I penned when I was like 15. We know you hear this beat many, many times. I bet you never heard it with such a vicious rhyme. 15 or 14. And um, we just kept talking like we all hated the name Nanook, right? And yeah. no one could pronounce it as you couldn't. And we were just like, why are <laughs> you Nook is on the block? And we just kept like talking it up amongst each other. And then we called our producer and we were like, listen, you got to change the name. We got to change yeah. the name. And he was like, all right, fine. And they agreed to change the name. What Good. does Nanook, I can't say it right. No, we don't, don't know. We that was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like like she her her doing the that's like my reaction video to like all these people that i listen to they like sing like super high and stuff oh my god or like super low like that's like what does it mean we don't know that was the problem we don't even know how to say it that's hilarious no. Race. Well, we can figure it out. I think Hilarious. also the, the name uh, uh, Menudo was out there at the time, and they were a boy band. And I think Maurice was like Menudo, Menudo, Nanook, Nanook. <laughs> <laughs> that's so. That's so. This industry. Oh, Maurice. Something yeah. is popular. And you're like, what sounds the same? Yeah. We can confuse them right, to buy it. Right, yeah. Right. That's very much this industry. Oh, uh, let's get to a few commercials. Paula is going to help us out. Hi, Kelly. Hi, gentlemen. Hi. I'm Hi. from Quincy, Mass., right down the road from where the new kids got their start. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Yep. I'm going to go to my 100th show this upcoming what? summer during what? the summer tour. Thank you. Wow. Hi, Kelly, one of my favorite performances of all time. She deserves a hug. Y'all need to give her a hug. She deserves a hug. Time was when you and Joe sang, Don't You Want to Stay? I was going to ask this thing at a commercial break. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It was amazing. It's meant to be. Uh, We're doing it, Kelly. Stay here. We're doing it. If I Kelly has work. more with Danny, <laughs> Jonathan, Jordan, Joey, Donnie after this. All right, so we're definitely going to skip ahead, so you'll see a jump cut right here. We'll skip ahead. And we're back. Jacina, plus from Irish Wish, Lindsay Lohan and Aisha Curry. Kelly's all new all week. Well, count me in. I am ready, Kelly. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's just funny right there. <laughs> Feel the vibration. You are stuck here. You're welcome. I'm going to walk on the wild side. That's funny. recently um he just found his iconic ripped jeans which everybody loves wow. so i have a question for the rest of you i mean did y'all anybody the hang right stuff anything? video do you have anything like memorabilia wise from i do somehow have uh, uh the i had a hat with a hole cut the out cut on the out. top my hair would pop out and somehow i still have that wow. i think i still have my rat tail somewhere <laughs> <laughs> that thing was Are long I like it. I think like it's a close thing to a mullet. Yeah. Um, Him and Danny no, used to have long. I don't. John has a I full closet. John, you have like four closets full of clothes. From that's back just. Today. No, that's just my clothes today. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't keep I want a your lot closet. of stuff. Okay. Like actually, I got rid of all my gold records and stuff. Like. Do you know what? Wow. Wait, let me say the decor of the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know how john is john's gotta have it all right he's in this home game you know it's gotta be done right man it's gotta be done right i kept a few of the good ones but like yeah. the ones that didn't really maybe maybe three or four and we'll be right back <laughs> i'd love to know which ones made the cut right <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. all right so i have to ask y'all too so you you did you have anything Gary? did you hold on to anything uh, I don't have anything. You don't have anything? Uh, what? When what I, is when that I, random place we ran into each other? Was it Germany? Yeah. That we were doing like a festival or something? Yeah, I put out a solo record in Germany. Exactly, but I turned yeah. around and I was like, my sister had just left touring with me. She had just like gone home and I went to do that festival and I remember calling her and she was heartbroken. <laughs> I was like, you will not believe who I just hung up with <laughs> the next day. I was like, anyway, I just had to, I forgot where that was. I think it was Germany. I was happy to see you because, yeah. you know, it was a familiar Still. face all the yeah. way there so I know. He, he he knew when American Idol first started he said that girl right there Kelly Clarkson's gonna win he said that the first oh. season <laughs> he said that I, I think he said something like that to me and I got so much cool points with my sis for that so thank you <laughs> no, I remember watching yeah knowing you were gonna win like, totally. I think everybody did man she was amazing on the show good job Danny Danny got that ear for the music, man. He's, he's selling it now. Okay. So you, I have to say, I didn't know this. Like, and I think all of us go through this. We have a moment in our career where we're kind of like, no, this is not how I want it to go. Like, and then you do something that maybe is like unexpected from people you're working with. You're like, revamp no, it. no, I, this, is, this is me. And I feel Reset. like I heard that you had this moment at the American Music Awards. It was a performance. Is that true? Um, I, I think it happened a lot of times with all of us. Yeah. Um, you know, we became so successful at such a young age and there's no script, you know, there's no yeah. guidebook. You didn't have one either. You yeah. just kind of figure it out as you go and, and you stumble and trip and fall a lot and make a lot of mistakes. And when you learn. Yeah. yeah. And I think the American Music Awards perform your performance you're probably talking about was we were we did that first ever halftime show. Let me guess. It's, it's the American Music Award performance when they did it with Flavor Flav. Is that what he's about to talk about? With a pop artist. Most people don't know this. Yeah. Um, you know, they it, we were actually the first one, but very few people saw it because George Bush made a speech and preempted our performance and they played it after the game. But we were the first pop artist oh, wow. to play halftime at a Super Bowl. Until then, it was marching band. I didn't know that either. Yeah. yeah so Trailblazers uh, making... It was Making a history. Disney performance, and, and we did Small World, and we did a bunch of our hits, and it yeah. was very Disney, but no one saw it except probably our fans, because the, the Iraq war just started, and they were like, yeah, we're going to preempt halftime. So, But the next day, we were doing the American Music Awards, and we were like, this was the performance we decided we're taking over. We're doing the creative on it. We're doing everything. We had like 20 dancers with us. 
We one of them was J-Lo. J-Lo was there, yep. Yeah. Jennifer yeah. Lopez was one of our dancers. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Gibson, who's a... Yeah, Flavor Flav's there. Yeah, I remember this performance. Yeah, this was a good performance. I think, if I remember correctly, Jordan messed up somewhere in the choreography on there. Famous choreographer. Yeah. Aaron Hansen. Aaron like, Hansen, yeah. A bunch of dancers and stuff were amazing. And we had a, a tremendous performance in Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav. It was so great. He's and, so nice, by Yeah, the way. that was one yeah, of those moments boy. where it was like, you know what? We did the AMAs the year before. We were kind of told, you're going to do this. You're going to sing this. You're going to go here. And this time we're like, no, we're going to do what we want to do this time. And yeah. Yeah. it was an Good. important performance for us in our growth and development as people and artists. Yeah, yeah. and it's like, I feel like being so young, you kind of are like, okay, I guess I'll listen. You're trying to be respectful. But at the same time, yeah. it's like your name and likeness, and it's yeah. your story, and it's your creative moment. I think every artist has it's that. It's the struggle way. between gratitude and, and autonomy, right? You have to find your way and have yeah. your own voice at some point. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Have you ever thought about, because I love singing all different genres of music, if you haven't noticed. And um, I love it, though, because I truly do love music. Anything with soulful, anything with a message, like we were saying before. Have y'all ever thought about doing something together because you have these awesome harmonies? Like any other genre, like an acoustic singer-songwriter. <laughs> I'm just saying it'd be, be yeah, really cool. cool. Or Jordan like with the hands up. Going like country. A, you're going country. country. Everybody's going country these days. John did a country song <laughs> on our latest album. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a lot of you guys have been telling me that John has a solo song on the new album coming up. I'm all for that, man. I love John's. I love John's songs, man. Um, him doing "Happy Birthday" was awesome. I loved him doing um, uh, "White Christmas." You know, with the treetops glisten. Love John's voice, man. Always love his voice. Uh, so I'm glad he's getting a solo song, but it's got a country twang to it. Okay. We're in the country song. It's a country song. Country song. Country song. Country song. Country song. Written by Joe. Yeah. Okay. Having a party just in the barn. Just because it's country. Country. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it does have some twang to it. I but, think uh, we should do a country album. Done. Even the new country song by is so good. It's like a little dance. Right. I love it. Yeah. I love that. Honestly, like a full dance record would be cool too. Yeah. But like, yeah, I this, love the dance. I mean, this, this album we're we're very excited about, and I think it it spans you know different. I always say I genre wrong. Different. Yeah, I say genre, but I know it's genre. genre. But yeah. we touch on a lot of things. And the cool thing about, you know, being in a group for so long, we kind of have a stamp, you know what I mean? No matter yeah. what we do, which is cool. And um, Yeah, but of course. Part, yeah, but country album, apparently. We're, yeah. we're <laughs> after this one. We can and we can just put it under Nanook. We can just <laughs> 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 and, and do a country. Oh. <laughs> Look at John. John brought John did bring you back full circle. That's great. New kids on the block. Country. Their country. Um, uh, what is it called? Uh, other personality. I forgot what it's called. Whatever uh, is Nainook. It's the that's the uh, that's the country version of New Kids on the Block. Their alter ego. Alter ego Nainook. Country album. <laughs> that was oh quick, gosh, John. I love it. Good job. Really I'm really quick. looking forward to that Done. album, John. Uh, we <laughs> really have to quick. do a quick commercial break. More with the new kids on the block after this, everybody. There we go. Very awesome. So we're going to skip forward again. This is a whole, a whole long interview. Retro show, uh, take a photo of yourself watching on an actual TV, people. Remember TV. those days, not just your phone, um, and send it to us. Um, and then head to our Instagram to find out how you can win a pair of new kids on the block tickets. What? Um, See, I'm watching this from here. I can't go back and do that. But maybe you blockheads can find a way to get my videos to new kids. And maybe, maybe I can get a couple of four tickets. Four tickets, me, my lady, and then my two sons who are little blockheads. M maybe you guys can get us four tickets to the show in Atlanta when it comes when it comes rolling through town. And we can all hit a Waffle House together. You know what I'm saying? I know the boys be digging the Waffle House. So 
I mean, y- you guys, a lot of you guys are like in with the new kids. Like y- y'all guys, y'all know the inside track. Get this video to them and maybe, m- maybe they'll reach out and, and we can, I can finally meet the guys after all these years. <laughs> So let's talk about it. You've done many tours. I've been to them. Um, so what what's different about this? What's different about this magic tour? Uh, well, it's different. We we did a magic summer tour in 1990. 90. And uh, there was a lot of magic. Tr- they have to start this. They please for the love of everything. For the love of everything. I know I'm pausing a lot, guys, and I'm sorry. But please, for the love of everything, new kids. You got to start the show off. There's magic in the real thing. Can't beat it. Can't beat the real thing. You got to start this. You got to play it at least or something. Come on, please. Tricks. Um, and they were, yeah, they were, they were distracting that from that. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Um, I think, you know, the, the, the magic now is the relationship that we have with each other and that we have with our fans. And yeah. that Metaphorical, yeah. energy is just so special. And, um, we're going to be outside under the stars together after all these years. And um, we have oh, Paul Abdul oh. opening for us as yeah. we talk Straight about Straight up, now tell me. And, and yeah. Jazzy Jeff is opening for us. It's just going to be a really, really special experience. And um, it's just every opportunity we get to perform together and yeah. for our fans is just a blessing and it's like who knew when we were not new like all those years ago this could possibly we're happen gonna make like fetch happen. we did well yeah. we, didn't know if we were going to be together for five years and it's like uh, 40 years coming up you know it's like it's, yeah. it's Crazy. such a gift and we're so grateful and we can't wait to get out there and be with these amazing fans again I have- wow it really is wow 40 years really this is 2024 <laughs> Wow. To ask you, I feel like it was last time we talked about when you were on tour with Paula, if you were going to do the rap. Yeah, MC we're Cat. negotiating. Okay. <laughs> Where was when I was on your show? Yeah, last time um, as Donnie Wahlberg, uh, as Danny Reagan, not as New Kids yeah. guy. I was um, like, who are you now? Yeah. <laughs> This just but got interesting. I did speak. To, I sent Paula a clip of your show. Yeah. And I said, what do you think about doing Opposites Attract as a duet with new kids? And I would do the scat cat part. Oh, the scat cat part. Okay. Okay. We go together because Opposites Attract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And um, she was like, I love it. Let's do it. Now, I don't want to give too much away, but I did tell um, Kelly. I was like, I can't do the tap dancing. <laughs> I, we need Joey to dance with her because he's good. He's a better at that. So stuff wait, than me. So you I'm might dead. be more fun to watch then. <laughs> yeah. We need Joey to, to co-sign it. Maybe all five of us. How's that? We yeah. can just, you know, trade off partners, moment. dancing right. partners. Exactly. Right. So, like, oh, that'd be in cool. The, in the, it was like oh, a, I'm not gonna wear a costume. <laughs> that's what I did. That would be cool. Because then I might do it. Because yeah. nobody would. Well, they'd probably know it was me. Because I'd be sipping over my. John just literally told everybody he's going to go on the mass Singer because he can do it with a costume. Yeah, he's he's to hide. Have you always been this one in the group trying to hide? Like when you're like, yeah. oh. not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. He didn't mean that way. He didn't mean that wrong. <laughs> He didn't mean that way. Oh my god! He I mean, didn't mean that way. TV show and his shiny face and he's sharing his gifts. <laughs> he didn't mean it that way. Okay, so wait, I have to ask. This is your first album in over ten years. So why this album? Why now? Like why these songs? Like why be inspired? They demanded it. Oh. Yeah. They demanded Visions, okay? They're visions. I'm not saying they're not true, but they come to him in the middle of the night. <laughs> and the he, pulse of and the he swears it's you, and he believes it's you. <laughs> but what it looks like is Donnie suddenly saying, we're going to do an album. <laughs> and then Jordan going, okay, sure, I'll jump on a few records. And then the last to know is me. And then I finally get with the program because it sounds so good, and... 
we have a great album. We're very excited about yes. this album. Yeah. It all works out in the end. It all works out in the end. I'll tell you what, man. I still think the day that Nasri gave that song to Donnie. I still thank the day that Nasri gave Donnie click, click, click. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. It work out. It's a great album. It's so... I, I don't want to oversell it, but Blockheads, you're going to love it. It's just... It's, it really has all the feels of all the decades of New Kids oh, and like talks that. about our journey real together and with That's them. Awesome. Is, yeah, yeah, 14 songs. Yeah. Uh, awesome. It's, it's, it's be, Very awesome. You'll be happy. Very awesome. I'm going to tell you what, man. Um... I still listen. I mean, I still listen to all of them, but I tell you what, man, sometimes fighting gravity from 10 just pulls a hold of me. And that song's on repeat. I love fighting gravity. I love, love that song. Love. Um, uh, what's the, you don't even know what you do to me. Uh, I forgot the words. I forgot the song. I wish that I could kiss you. We had crazy issues that get popping up like tissues. Anyway, love that song. But I'll tell you what, Fighting Gravity, it's, ooh, love it. It gets a repeat, man. Pulls me out of nowhere sometimes, and that's all I listen to. Well, let's, let's talk about the song that you're going to be performing is Kids. Yeah. It's really good. I love the song. It's so are very catchy as well. Like, you know it right when you hear it. It's mm -hmm. that kind of good. What was the story behind this? Why this song? Why this is the first single? Oh man, I, I we got lucky with that one. That yeah. was actually the one, the one song we didn't didn't write. And I'll put uh, that one out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that we don't fight. But that not. being said, I mean, you know, you talk about a whole album. Like, yes, we are from, you know, a time when albums were important. Our fans love albums. Oh, still that important experience. to me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But you know, people would be like, that doesn't happen anymore. Well, okay. usually people get like two singles from it now, and they exactly. don't. Exactly. Yeah, and, yeah. and that ride is just like important, I think, for for anybody. But this song in it and our record company bmg you know found uh, dave stewart is a is a younger writer and uh we just found this record and it kind of just like was smack dab in the middle of what we had been building yeah and uh it was awesome. great yeah uh, we need another That's break awesome. the new kids on the block will be performing their single kids later in the show you do not want to miss it and the album still kids is available for pre-order right now y'all up next we've got a dance battle it's gonna get real My money is on Danny on the dance battle. The split up into teams. Back in the 90s, it is time for a round of an iconic dance game. This is Dance Battle Double Down. to do the honors a very funny woman you can see on season two of life and beth on hulu everybody please welcome yamanika saunders hello yamanika i'm not I don't know who she is okay hello kelly hello. and hello new kids uh -oh. and oh my god <laughs> okay. i just want to say that i've loved you guys since i was a kid on the block oh. yeah yes yeah. Now I'm just an old broad in the street. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to play a fun game today. I'm going to have you guys in teams, which oh you gosh, already are. Hilarious. And today the first team will be Kelly, Jonathan, and Donnie. Winners. Versus Joey, Jordan, and Danny. Awesome. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so Jazz hands. Will earn a prize for their side of the audience. So you guys have to root now. Okay. And during the game, we'll play in pairs of twos. Now, I'll read a question. The answer to the question is the name of a dance. And if you know the dance, step forward on your platforms and shout it out. Okay. okay. Now, I will ask uh, both people in the pair to dance and come forward and do the dance, all right? So don't play around. Okay. Because I know dancing. Okay. I got eyes. Okay. And so do they. All right? And you get another point if I think it's really enthusiastic. Okay. Oh. oh See, just okay. 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 All right. So, yes. basically what I'm saying is, it's up to me. Okay. All right. Okay. She okay. declares the winner. The first team will be Kelly and Joey. Come on up. Okay. Uh-oh. 
tick, tick, boom. Okay, okay. Wow. Okay, next question. You won, you won, okay. you won. <laughs> <laughs> I can't compete for Simon's Day. Okay. Get this off of it. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> this move might be seen in the Nutcracker or Black Swan. Kelly? Um, uh, like a leap? Like a, like a, like a What is that called? What is it? A peri, 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 I damn okay. I can't do it because you both messed up with that. So you have to do it. Whoever does it the best. Well, I don't gets know what it point. is. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Joey gets the point. That's great. Wow. Such class and sophistication. Nice posture. Hilarious. That was actually really great. Though. What, what was I supposed to do? Turn I ever <laughs> Excellent. He did amazing. Plus, I'm going to give them three points, and you know why? He had them tight ass socks on and didn't slip. Okay, now supposed? I'm going to have oh. Jonathan She's and hilarious. Jordan. Uh oh. It's the Brothers Night Battle. Let's go, John. Let's go, John. Nothing against Jordan. I just want John to win. Let's go, John. Okay, so here's the question. You guys ready? Yes. Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan uh, and Jordan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Got him both at once. Okay. All right, so this dance was all the rage in the clubs in the 80s. It shared a name with dolls who grew up cabbage in patch. gardens or patches. Cabbage patch. Oh, oh, yeah. oh the cabbage, cabbage patch. patch. Yeah. Cabbage patch. Yeah. 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 What new kid song included a dance where your hands were on your belt and your legs? Yes, Donnie. All the right stuff. Come on. Old school stuff. <laughs> yes. Love it. All right, that's the end of the game. Okay. I have to tell you who it was. Woo! All right, okay, okay. Oh, God. You know, because I wasn't keeping score, y'all was, and we were looking at them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it to you guys just because. What? With the sound. <laughs> they, they won more. They won more. Awesome. All right, so you're all getting two tickets to the new kids on the block. Magic Summer Tour with special guests. Come on. DJ Jazzy Jeff. And for everyone watching, tickets are on sale now at Live Nation. I want to go. Don't forget to post a photo of yourself four. watching this show in the retro way on an old school TV. I, want, I need four. I, I need four to Atlanta. Four. Please, guys, please. I need four to Atlanta. And the opportunity to meet you guys. Send it in and you may be featured on our show's Instagram. In fact, if you head there Four. right now, you'll have a chance to win tickets to a new kid show as well. Once again, the new album is called Still Kids and it's available for pre-order today. 
And a big awesome. thank you to Yamanika Saunders for hosting. She we is hilarious. Of one new kids fan helping another out next. It's incredible. We'll be right back. So going out with the right stuff. All right. the power to heal but those words took on a whole new meaning when i learned about this next story it's incredible teresa's self-proclaimed blockhead um that's that she loves the new kids uh she's seen new kids more than a dozen times not quite a absolutely jealous that you met them before 100 but she's on her way <laughs> um but she she'll tell you that they've actually changed her life and it was a chance meeting with a fellow fan that actually saved her life everybody let's welcome teresa to the show <laughs> the show Thank you, you saw the guys in the commercial break but um yes. what you went to the 2022 show with a mission right you went to their show on a mission yes yeah, so in 2021 i was diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease and um it's where these cysts attack my kidneys till they're no longer functioning yeah and i needed a transplant so i had the idea of um, making a poster that said um, that i was looking for a donor and donnie seemed to notice and um and he grabbed it and he gave me a fist pump and he said i got you i got you and he ended up sharing it on social media this is why i love donnie man donnie's awesome absolutely amazing yeah what do you remember about that donnie i remember it vividly but you know it in the chaos of a show where we have a lot of fans right at the front of the stage and they'll hold up signs for different things like uh take a selfie with me and we're like all right after after and i kept <laughs> Wow, it's amazing. Kind of like, I was like, okay, hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. And you know, I just figured it was for a picture or something. And I saw it a little later in the show and I was like, oh my gosh. And um, I just was touched by, you know, um, her self-advocacy, you know, that she would come there and do that, you know, to try to help herself. And, and bravo, kudos to you. I mean, she deserves all the credit. <laughs> just the beginning right yes so um, I ended up going on the new kids on the block cruise with my son and I decided to put a banner awesome. on the Lido deck where all the parties uh, take place yeah and that's where Christina my donor um, noticed the banner and she decided to get tested and after 10 months of testing um, we were a match oh, yeah. it's incredible. <laughs> hashtag thankful absolutely amazing beautiful i have chills i have chills and i'm fighting back tears uh, well <laughs> Teresa hasn't seen christina since amazing before the transplant christina's oh. actually here so let's bring her out oh. <laughs> amazing christina New kids on the block, bringing people together, saving lives, changing lives. <laughs> Family. Family. Blockheads are not a fan base. It's a family. I just like invited myself. I was like, wait, I don't want to be the one I left out. <laughs> Hug me, choose me, pick me. Um, what is it like to be reunited? This is, but you haven't seen each other before the transplant, right? Correct. Yeah. That is, first of all, just a minute, ma'am. <laughs> what, like, that is a really big deal to give one's organ to a stranger to save their life. Like, this isn't like a family friend. This is like somebody, like, it's like, was it just, yeah, of course I'll do it for you. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, God yeah. I'm, I'm a physician, so I know the importance of organ donation, and I think I knew it was important. Well, first of all, thank you for being a physician. Wow. I, yeah, I just, I'm blown away by it. What would you like to say? You want to say anything to Christina? Yes. <laughs> I want to tell you that I thank God for you every day. And I'm so thankful for your compassion and your selflessness. And I'm so amazed by you. 
um, you're a doctor, you're a songwriter, you are the star <laughs> of this story, oh. and you're my hero. I love you, and you're stuck with me forever. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Literally. Literally. I feel you, John. Me and John are on the same. John's tearing up. I'm tearing up. I'm telling you, man. I love, I love that you're a physician and also you kind of have the white lab coat on like a doctor would have. I love that. It's like, it's like a posh version of it. I like it. Um, well, Donnie, you have something you want to share, right? A couple of things. We, um, you, you know, we stayed in touch during the process and the procedures and stuff. And I think I promised you tickets. But the guys got together and thought it would be better to fly you to the city of your choice to sit in the magic seats, which are on the stage. Oh! stage we built in uh, i think 65 seats on the stage for fans to be part what of the show a smart oh, idea. it's pretty it's what? gonna be crazy it's i'm gonna an be idiot incredible. i never thought of that wow, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's like i'm yeah. stealing and it some of the guys also wanted to donate something to you guys too um from our fenway park concert oh, oh my god thank you that's why i love these guys John is a mess over there, y'all. John's just, John's all overwhelmed with emotion. <laughs> yeah, and it's been dazzled. I'm in. I love it. Everybody, we, this is such a beautiful story, you guys. Ah, oh, we need a quick break, though. Up next, the new kids on the block are performing their new single, Kids. Absolutely love it, man. Now Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Donnie. killing this that's what i'm talking about i i didn't realize i'd already learned the song so fast wow Woo! let's go blockheads let's go baby come on jordan the dancers now. This is my dog right here. Come on, Danny D in the place to be. Let's go, man. I'm having fun with this now.
Let Danny cook. The boy band pose. Let's go. Let's go. All right, man. That was tons of fun. This is a crazy long video. Uh, really cool stuff. I really hope that you guys watch this. Watch the whole thing. Uh, it, yeah. The guys sounded great during the performance. Really cool stuff. Amazing story there with the with the ladies. I know Christina was one of the names. That's my lady's name. And I forgot the lady's name who was, who needed the transplant. I forgot her name. Sorry. But beautiful story. It's amazing to see how much uh, things can go. How much a fan base of fandom, a family can go. Um, and how much love can prevail in the end. In the end, love, care for your for your your brother or your sister out there. It can really go so far. A simple act of kindness can go so far. And I know it's more than just a simple act of kindness. The simple act of kindness was the idea to do it. And then going so far to do the testing, going so far to go through with it. That's amazing love, amazing character on Christina's part. That's totally a God thing. Absolutely a God thing. But uh, this was amazing. Uh, New Kids on the Block. I'm telling you, man, you guys, please find a way to get this to the guys. Please find a way to get this to the guys. I would love to finally have the chance to meet them. Uh, me, my lady, and my two sons, 14 and 10 years old. They love New Kids on the Block, too. Like, they know all kinds of new kids and new edition music. Like, I, I'm raising them right. Trust me. Uh, but please, guys, uh, find a way to get this to, to, get this to the new kids. I, I, I would love to see that. But anyway, man, uh, if you guys enjoyed the reaction, if you're still around, please make sure you hit the, uh, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, make sure notifications are turned on. You don't want to miss out on future reactions, and it helps the channel grow. Pushes us out into this great big world to meet more amazing people just like you. Please subscribe, hit that like button, let's grow. Check out the description box below. You'll see the links to all of our social media. Give us a follow. Drop your comments, thoughts, feelings, and feedback. Uh, about all of this down in the comment section. But thank you guys so much for being here. This is a super long video. I'm going to end it right now. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you soon on the next one.